Hey, what's up, y'all? Gary, 110, here to talk about installing the Boco servo and axle and four link adapter for the Axial AR45P. Let's check it out. All right, let's check it out. Boco servo and axle for the AR45P. Installation is pretty straightforward. I generally find it easiest to kind of put this screw in loosely first and then flop it down into place, but you can just slide it straight onto the axle as well. It's going to use three mounting points. You've got the back of the pumpkin, you've got a through the truss, and then you've got one that braces off of the existing uh, stock link mount. So this one's an M2.5 by 20, which will come in the package. This one, uh, M3 by 14 with a... Uh, washer on the back. And then this one, you've got a couple of options. If you're not going to use the center triangulated, um, you can use a short stubby or shorter screw here backed with a nut. Uh, if you are going to use the center triangulated, I'll include an M3 by 30 in there, which you'll also back with a nut, which will go right there. So this is the way I prefer to do it. If you want to get crafty, I think you can get, if, if you don't want to cut this off, you can put a pivot ball or some other bracing in there and then run an M3 by, I think it's a 40, 42 or 45 um, to get all the way through there. But otherwise, slice that off, run the M3 by 30 with a nut, back it there, and then make sure you put a washer here on the uh, back of the truss as well to brace it. So <clears throat> these upper link mounts will come threaded. And then the actual servo holes themselves are passed through. So you'll get all the hardware to install on the axle, but you'll most likely have to provide your own screws and nuts for the actual servo itself. Every once in a while when I you know get a big batch of the screws in, I'll toss those in, but you'll at least get the equipment necessary to mount it onto the axle. But it, it, it can be a little confusing with all the stuff thrown up in there, uh, all the stuff thrown in the package. So you'll get some M3 by 12s to utilize the raised upper link mounts uh, with the idea of a 7.5 pivot ball and then you'll get a 16 14 and a long one and some uh, nuts and washers so that you have some options for how you want to mount through here through the truss uh, however you want to do that so so generally a yeah, pretty easy installation pretty straightforward 2.5 by 20 3 by 30 or 3 by uh, 14, 16, 3 by 14 or 16 there in the middle. Back it with a nut. And you'll be ready to rock. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Take it easy.